This code is going to demonstrate the uh, importance of using option explicit and why we use option explicit. I want you to notice this particular piece of code does not have option explicit near the top. An option explicit basically means one thing. It means that you need to always declare all variables that you're going to use in your program. So again, option explicit essentially requires you to use all variables to declare all variables that you're going to use in your program. And if you don't declare one, the program will have an error in it, and the Visual Basic environment will tell you the program has an error in it. Well, you'll notice in this piece of code we do not have the option explicit statement at the top. So let's just look at the code real quickly. We have a uh, variable here for declaring, uh, uh, for storing the total cost of our widgets. We have a variable for the cost of one widget, and we have a variable for how many widgets we have. So we have an input box statement that asks the user how many widgets they're going to they're gonna have, and the input box basically says how much does each widget cost. And then we have a simple calculation here that takes the quantity of the widgets and multiplies it times the cost of our widgets to get the total cost of the widgets. So there's our total cost of widgets statement in the message box. So when I run this, it should do pretty much what you would expect. Let's go ahead and run this code. And I'll put in uh, that I want to buy five widgets. And let's say that each widget costs $10. So I'm expecting that my total cost should be the 5 times 10, so $50. And it tells me my total, total cost is zero. You might want to pause the video right now and stare at the code and see if you can figure out where the mistake is in this code. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the option explicit statement in. And then I'm going to go ahead and compile this code and see what happens. Uh, not compile, but I'm going to hit run. And when I hit run, Visual Basic, of course, is going to try to run this code. But at the same time, it's going to look for errors related to variables that I did not define with a dim statement. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, run button. <clears throat> and I'm going to want to run my little demo code, so I hit run. And immediately it comes up and it highlights that variable, total cost of widgets, and says it's not defined. Now depending on how sharp your eye is, you may or may not have noticed that that particular variable indeed was not defined. In fact, if you look closely at that variable, there's a misspelling in that variable where it's widgets is spelled with an I right there, whereas the widgets variable really is declared with the E. So by using option explicit, the Visual Basic Environment told me exactly where my mistake was. Now if you can imagine in a much larger program with many, many, many hundreds of variables, if you did not use option explicit, how easy would it be to mistype a variable name and not know in your program exactly where that problem was? Because when I ran it before and it just gave me the answer is zero, then of course I just had to go back and scan through the code to try to find the mistake. There was no help. Well, let's change this program. I'll go ahead and hit the stop button here. Let's change this program so that it has the E correct spelling. And now let's go ahead and uh, we'll run that again. So we put in five widgets. We put in the uh, cost of each widget of $10. And our total cost now comes out as 50 and the program is running properly. Again, the basic idea here from this video is that option explicit is a very powerful tool to help you remove one type of error that you may encounter in your programs. And any time that we can remove any of the errors that human beings are going to make as, as a problem in our program, we want to let the tool, in this case Visual Basic, help us with that. So option explicit is very important to always use in all your programs. And you'll notice in the book that sometimes the author doesn't do that. Because the author wants to sort of shortcut and write quick and dirty code. And quick and dirty code has its place, but if it's misleading as to, is this the right way to do things, um, I would suggest that uh, the author shouldn't have done that. The author should have discussed option explicit up front and then used option explicit throughout all the programs in the book. So remember, if you have that require variable declaration setting in the options in the tools menu there, you will get the option explicit statement in your program automatically. Thank you.